Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is one lake in Microsoft Fabric, uh, what it does, how it is helpful, how it works with other fabric objects. Let's go and check it out. To learn, um, to learn one lake, let's first have a quick overview of what is Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is a data analytics software as a solution service offering by Microsoft. It has multiple workloads for data engineering, for data warehousing, for data integration, business intelligence, and storage. And the one lake is actually the storage uh, engine for that, which is what we are going to talk about. So. What is really one lake? Uh, one lake is the logical storage of the data, uh, the single logical storage of the data across all fabric items. Um, and that comes from the concept of data lake, actually. Data lake is not a new concept in data analytics technologies. We had this for many years. Every vendor has their own data lake solution, a storage provider. Uh, data lake is a place that you can store files as a raw format uh, and then access it. Um, so that's not a new. So what is new about one lake then? The, the, one of the things about data lake is actually you store data in raw format. Another thing about data lake is that then uh, it would be the one place to have all the data in it. Uh, but in reality, uh, data lake is not like that. Every organization has multiple data lakes. Every business domain might go and create a data lake for themselves. Every uh, region, every branch might go and create a data lake for themselves. So you end up with like lots of data lakes, silos of data lakes. The concept of one lake here is that this would be structured and created in a way that this would be the only one data lake available for you. So one lake is the single one unified storage um, engine um, for all the fabric elements, regardless of how many branches you have, how many business domains you have, how many uh, regions your company uh, expands into, there would be only one, one lake for all of these. Uh, and how that is possible, because if you have multiple regions, how you would access that. So this is a logical storage, actually. Underneath one lake, the data is stored in Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So this logical storage on the top makes sure that uh, the access to that uh, is unified. So even if the data is stored in different blob storage and containers uh, in different regions, uh, at the end of the day, the, um, the view of that is a single unified view, which is from the one lake. So all the computes would store their data automatically in there. It would be stored in a, in a standard format. Uh, uh, all the objects, um, uh, data objects would be stored in uh, Delta Parquet format. And these computer engines such as Power BI Tabular Engine is optimized to understand that Delta Parquet format and use that as their uh, file and understand that without needing to import it or export it like in Power BI Direct Lake, which is one of the things that I have a separate video about that, is uh, an example of how something like this would work in uh, in a in a one lake situation. So this would ensure that you have the least amount of duplication and needs for uh, import or export. Uh, another thing is how the governance uh, and structure around one lake is shaped. So in one lake, we have groups of entities. This is called domains. Each domain can be a business domain or it can be created based on different uh, criteria, but uh, each domain can um, can include multiple workspaces. Each workspace can have fabric objects like lake house, warehouse, data factory, data pipeline, data flow items in it. Um, and uh, these domains um, can have their own, um, let's say, ownerships and things like that. So the security around it would be also managed. So domains and workspaces are actually like folders and subfolders create a structure creation, in which all of those data is at the end of the day stored in one lake. Uh, sometimes you need to access one of the entities in one of the domains or workspaces in uh, in other places. And uh, one copy feature in the um, in the one lake uh, using shortcut is actually making that available. You can create a shortcut that points to the entity to that table in a lake house in another um, 
in another domain in the same tenant of fabric makes that available really easily without really copying the data. And I have a video about this one copy short shortcut, or I have a video about the domain. So make sure that uh, go and check it out. So these features make sure that you have the least amount of duplication uh, of the data and the data is managed much easier. Uh, the next thing is how you would you access this data. So of course, inside Fabric Portal, one of the places that you can access these um, One Lake data is One Lake Data Hub. You can go there, you can filter your data based on the domain, based on the you know, workspace, based on the type of object. Is it a warehouse, lake house, data mart, and find the objects you want. Uh, same thing is also available in desktop items such as Power BI Desktop, where you have that One Lake Data Hub. However, this is not the only uh, type of uh, access uh, of the One Lake items. Another thing is One Lake File Explorer. So there's an extension you can install, download and install for free. And that would be like a OneDrive sync extension. And uh, actually Microsoft calls One Lake the OneDrive for data. That is, uh, this actually shows how this really works. So you install that extension and then you open Windows Explorer and the, the similar way that you go and access OneDrive, you would go and access One Lake items. And uh, you would see the uh, objects that you have in each of the workspaces, for fabric workspaces, you can go and expand them. You'll go and see the actual files and not only you can see them, you can actually copy items across. Uh, and it really looks like you are working with a um, Windows Explorer, but in fact, you are um, creating objects and copying items from one place to another place. Uh, the next way is using the URI. So there's a, a specific UR, um, URL format that you can use, which has workspaces, item, item types, path, file names in it. Uh, and you can also use a uh, grid GUID uh, of these items in there as well. The reason that we have item and item type is that, for example, you might have the same item name for a lake house, for a warehouse. So that is why when you have the type under, uh, after that, it's the unique item. But GUID usually works even better. Uh, there is also another type of URL, ABFS, which is for Azure Blob File System Driver, and uh, that is used in ADLS usually for pointing to a specific location. So both of these URLs are good options to get that um, to get to that location. And uh, inside Fabric Portal, you can also get the ABFS path, as you can see here in this uh, screenshot showed. And then the other thing is, of course, API. So there's an API for one leg, similar to uh, all software as a service applications. There's an API to interact with it. And this API provides ability to read data, to even copy data. Um, some of the um, actions might not be available in the API. Some of them might. So this depends on how uh, frequent that API gets updated. So it's a new thing. So we expect this API to be maintained quite regularly. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is uh, security. So um, there is a feature called One Security, which uh, the idea behind that is that you don't need to implement security in every place. You apply security in one place um, and where you have the main data items and everywhere would follow this security. And considering that One Lake is the um, logical data storage for all fabric items, it actually makes sense that you do that security inside there. And when you apply security in there, uh, row level security, column level security, table level security, um, then objects such as warehouse, lake house, Power BI data set would follow these security rules without them needing to apply it themselves. That would be the best way of doing it. So in nutshell, one lake is a um, is like OneDrive for data, actually, the way that Microsoft said. Uh, it's a logical storage for all fabric items. The data is stored in Delta Parquet format. You can access it easily, like using a Windows Explorer, or there are other ways to access it, such as uh, the Data Hub, One Lake Data Hub, the API, the URI. And uh, One Lake uses domains and shortcuts, one copy, some of these features to make sure that the data is structured in a way that it doesn't really need duplication of the data. This is the single unified place for storing 
all the data. I encourage you to go and check it out. The dom- check out the domains and shortcuts videos that I have, which is about one lake as well. If you like this video, ho- video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Fabric. Until the next video, bye.